hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome to case place channel so today i'm going to be teaching you on how to edit your pictures how i edit my instagram pictures so first i click on my photo editing section i have lightroom preview visco facetune canva airbrush i use lightroom mostly for outdoor pictures preview to arrange my page visco for my makeup pictures if i want to be extra Face tune for makeup pictures. I just use like few features there. Canva, you know what Canva is for? Airbrush is my main app for editing my pictures. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to be clicking on my airbrush app. Then I'll go to favorites. Like when I take pictures, I just look, go through them, click on the ones I really like and put them in favorite. So it's easy for me to access and edit. So I click on favorites then i look for the picture i want to edit see that it's really easy out of all the pictures i just click favorites favorites pick on it so this is the picture i'm going to be editing today so like i said i use airbrush and airbrush really has a lot of features so right now i'm going to be showing you few pictures the before and after and so that's it so first the picture I'm going to be showing you is this one. Okay, I'm looking for it right now. Okay, I'm going to be showing you this one. And I use um, Visco to edit this. I use Airbrush and Visco to edit this picture, as you can see. Like, this is giving me more of this aesthetics vibe. So, uh, this one, I just use Airbrush and Face Tune. And this is more... I, use, I do this mainly for my makeup pictures. Like, to show details, enhance features, and all. So you can see this is face tune. This is giving me it's not like the makeup picture, like it's not for makeup editing. So me. Yeah, she loves me like that. Like damn damn damn. Like damn 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 damn. She So this is the picture I'm gonna be editing. So this is the before and the after, as you can see, minimal and really nice. So going back to the picture i'm going to edit so this is it plain no edits straight from camera rules like i said airbrush has a lot of features yes you have to pay for some but i didn't pay for any and i still get good pictures so first i click on skin tone the first one as you can see is dark second one is dark for me so i go to the third one which is my skin tone or close to my skin tone and i just click on it the rest are really light for me and soon really look nice so just go through that just swipe 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 on my face like i told you basically this is for makeup pictures so i just swipe 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 on my face on my face then after that this stuff here beside it will pop up and you can see show you number five me i scroll it down like i bring it down to three because i don't want it to be too much i don't want that effect to be too much so this is it at three really looking okay so just showing you the before and the after before okay and after then i go to smooth i'm not always heavy handed when it comes to smooth i'm always really light handed so i just like smoothing out my skin go to my face smoothing it out too i'm very light handed i don't like when my make my pictures are over smooth like very smooth it looks unreal to me so i just do that gently smoothing out places i need to smoothen out i don't smoothen out my whole face because it does not look real to me it looks really unrealistic then just showing you the features on airbrush so we have whitening you want probably want to whiten your teeth whiten your background if you have like this um white background and you really want to whiten it you're going with whiten just whiten it so just showing you then yeah another one there's air dye that you want to change the color of your hair i don't do that especially for this picture because it's for an air brand so i'm definitely not changing the color of my hair and i hardly even change the color of my hair because it doesn't really make sense to me so yeah just showing you the color for those that would love to change their own hair color using pictures so next i'm going to go into tools okay so just wait for that click so I'm going to be going to tools right now and the first one you can see there this is you actually you actually have to pay for this like I said I don't pay for I didn't pay for any of the um features there and it still works for me 
so this is just to blur your background and this really actually blurs the background but because i didn't pay for it i don't use it the days i want to use i just screenshot the pictures after blurring it they edit again but today i don't really need it so just showing you taking it back forth and this is really good. if you can pay for it pay for it but i hardly pay for stuffs on app i do i hardly do in app purchases so next i'm going to blow and i'm going to auto blow it i can see now that's done i've blurred out the background if you want to do this by yourself fine you can do it but if you look closely by the side it blurred out my hair okay i'm just showing you if you want to auto blur if you want to blur it yourself you can do that but i decided blood out my so i'm going to just click on eraser and just erase the part out erase the parts where it blood out my head so that's done then next I we click on size this is if you want to increase the size of the circle so you can easily just blow it quickly so that's the next i go to ants and this is the main main feature like the main main part of the whole editing i first sharpen my picture to make it clear make it look clear then i go to um saturation next i just use this very very little like i don't do, i don't overdo my editing at all so i go to saturation i just take it forward to like seven i go to contrast do the same take it was it, I, I took it forward yeah then i don't really use highlights and shadows but i'm just showing you like it's just a demo showing you just play around with your editing but don't overdo it because over edited pictures are really not nice at all like if you over edit your pictures it won't look nice and that's it so i'm just showing you like a demo on it then next i go to brightness i reduce my brightness if the picture is dull you can increase your brightness if the picture is overexposed you reduce your brightness so i reduced my own brightness then i went to temperature next i increased it a little i can see i'm just increasing it really really small like a little i'm not taking it to the extreme and all then if you want to grain on your picture yeah you can add grain but i don't want grain on my own picture sometimes the grain really makes your picture look nice sometimes it doesn't so it depends on you and the picture you're going for and the type of vibe you are going for so next i'm just going to show you colors black and white different colors i think this is what we have on um, lightroom but i really don't know how to use this so i don't use it except if i'm going for black and white i just probably click on all these ones and that so if you want to crop your picture you have that here so just showing you so yeah that's it so basically just explore with your editing app if you are learning like if you want to learn explore with it like now i'm just showing you showing you the makeup part i don't use that i just showed you the basic features that i use so and this is showing that you can edit your pictures without even paying for in doing in-app purchases so yeah before after before after so i'm just going to save the picture and now it's saved to my gallery so next i go to facetune and like i said i you don't really you, you can do away with this but may I just use it for like like that extra touch and all. So I click on the picture. Then I'm just going to be showing you. So yeah, if I'm going for this, um, like I said earlier, if probably my background is white. Or probably my teeth is showing you and I want it to be extra white. I'm advertising for close up. I go in with the whiten fe feature and I whiten it out. Then I go into details. If... I did eyeshadow if i did an eyeshadow look i go into details for it to be much clearer so next i click on filter go to golden hour the last one there which i just clicked on and i take it backward because this is too much for my skin tone and it looks awkward so i take it backward like 25 or so okay i take it backward like 25 like i can see it's not much at all so this is the before this is the after before after so you can see the difference then just showing you the app if you want to crop crop if you want to rotate rotate your picture whichever one so you want it like this like this like this anyhow you want to you can rotate and save just showing you the 
features face tune has a lot of features too but i don't really use face tune i just use it for mostly the filter that golden hour filter then i save the picture so guys this is the end of this tutorial hope you love this so this is the before and after don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends bye guys